Six minutes and 15 seconds. Six minutes and five. Five minutes and fifteen. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Scott Mabuda. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worshipped that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Downstairs. Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Sorry about what I said at the docks. Calling you back. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. There it is, Mr. Twin. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. Just call me Booker. Yeah, yeah. 
at the lottery. <laughs> You're a brute. Here. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all run up. Now. A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working Mommy, with him. Mommy, be careful. <laughs> Place all our security with me. 
machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But... Not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Cell number nine. Locked. Elizabeth? That won't take but a minute. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Man, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. It's done. More money. What you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook? Cat! 
us. You can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Oh. Yeah, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. What's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. You treat them like animals. To tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? What could people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? You get this open? Oh, this won't take long at all. Got it. Take a look at this. I'll give it a whirl. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Do it? You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Who the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want What do you me? see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Shen Lin. Never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. I have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into the stairs. I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? I can open that tear whenever you're ready. Ready now? Okay, open it. Blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed.
understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that. And have everything else remain. Tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel? I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. That. All bleeding. What is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. What is going on here, Sansmark? As my head of security, I suspect you'll want to find out how these two slipped and you in and what they were doing. Other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Whiskey! 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 Whisk
do it. Anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's Shrine. upstairs now. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... In some way, he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin. Can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police! They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. She... Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Bloody nose. Seems to be in style. He's terrible. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. That'll do. Uh, 
inside. And... It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Go ahead. There! That one! Now! You bet! You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? My Hank oh, lost his on. job at the field plant. Hit it! Hit it harder! Hit it harder! Hands up! Huh. Privilege to spare some coin, friend.
when you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. The fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. People are treated like men, and others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah, like a wounded knee. get through an army to get those tools. We hear tell that the gunsmith was making weapons to take possession! <laughs>
Some fierce at night. Lady Comstock and a prophet. Never make out what it was about for my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. Like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock house. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. We just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Could you take a look at this lock? Give me a second. There you go. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. We sure as hell aren't going to be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, at the shop. shop. 
Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for a while. If the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. see a forest at the beginning of a fire. For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we're going to see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. traps around the lines up here. Idea was to to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except of course you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. Of heroes. Booker. Hard to think. There's two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the First Lady. Let's go. 